Also tonight, up to a thousand paratroopers march on Downing Street, demanding a posthumous medal for a soldier killed during the Falklands War. Up to a thousand paratroopers and Royal Marines have marched on Downing Street, petitioning the Prime Minister to honour a soldier who was killed during the Falklands War. Commanding officers recommended a gallantry medal for Corporal Stuart McLaughlin, but that citation was lost and an appeal turned down. Tim Cooper has more. Corporal Stuart McLaughlin was killed shortly after the Battle of Mount Longdon in June 1982. Many of these men served with him that day and can't understand why his bravery, helping save others despite terrible injuries, hasn't been officially recognised. Lieutenant General Sir Hugh Pike was commanding officer that day and wrote a citation detailing McLaughlin's brave, gallant actions. But it was lost in the chaos of post-occupation Stanley, so he's never been officially recognised. These paras want that to change and are preparing to march to Downing Street with a petition. Grant Grinham was injured alongside Corporal McLaughlin that day and is attending with his daughter Holly. It's a travesty that he's not been recognised and we will not cease until we get the recognition for him. And so it's important for me to be here. I fought with Corporal McLaughlin on Mount Longdon. Um, there are other guys here also that fought with him. In fact, we've got the full section from uh, Mount Longdon as well as the hierarchy of three para. The government's already held an investigation into what happened, but family, friends and comrades say they weren't even contacted to contribute. More determined than ever to, to explain to the government your, your vigorous, so-called vigorous investigation wasn't that. It was a non-investigation. They didn't speak with uh, Lieutenant General Hugh Pike, who wrote the citation in 82, and then rewrote a citation some years ago. The centre of London was brought to a standstill as the paras made their point. Then the petition, carried by Stuart's son, also Stuart, was brought to Downing Street. Five comrades from 1982 from CO to Sergeant accompanying. Yeah, they need to basically get it right this time and look into it. The evidence is there in black and white, they just need to address it. How hopeful are you? I'm, I'm hopeful because I know what he done that night and, and everyone is aware of what he done. It's just uh, I, I don't know what's holding them up so much. This is the second year these men have marched. They say they'll be back for a third time if nothing is done to recognise the bravery of one of their own. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Whitehall.